We've been a band since I was like 13, so we were, you know, like every band, a local uh, at some point in our career. But like, oh yeah, let's start this band, and then uh, we came out with some new songs, some new demos that we put up on MySpace, which was cool at the time. And uh, we started touring and playing a lot locally and getting out there. Being so young, we you know we bought a band with a thousand bucks. We had parents drive us to shows. Again, back to the music, like we we wrote music just so that we would stand out because we knew how important it was to be a different band to to uh, to do different things and, and essentially that's how you're going to stand out is if, is if you make the difference. There wasn't that many bands that did this kind of music so we were one of the one of the few bands at the time to like grow with the, with the genre you know hardcore post hardcore uh, just kind of bringing it into the scene you know so we were, we were, we were definitely um, part of that wave so at that time it was unique, you know, and I think that's what that's why we're we're a strong band in that in that genre. Three D was it was our first it was our first record ever. So I mean, there's tons of success that came with it. We shot our first music videos for Three D and for what this means to me on that record. Uh, we did our first tours on that record, and uh, we we built our first. Core, you know, we, we got our first fans on that record, so um, there's tons of success. And you know, later on, when we released End of the World Party. It took us about a year after 3D came out. Um, it came out, and, and we tried to capture this kind of uh, apocalyptic meets teenage angst meets um, catchy songs. I don't know, catchy, different, you know, still very Icy Stars esque songs. And I think that uh, a lot of the fans picked up on it and got it. and um, it, it was a little bit of a separation from 3D and I think some people also noticed that for better or worse. So it may have may seem like the harder parts were kind of not there as much, but I, to be honest, some of the songs like The End of the World Party was actually one of my other favorite songs. It's, it's one of my favorite songs we've ever written on any of the albums. Mm -hmm. Next for IC Stars, I mean, we're, we're actually, we're not wasting any time, we're going right back into uh, the studio. Uh, we're doing a new uh, new CD and we're um, writing, you know, we're writing our new CD and we're going to go in the studio and we're going to record it. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of new music in the future, probably before the year is even over, if we'll have some new songs out. And uh, we're uh, just, we're, we're keeping the ball going, you know. So it was a lot to look forward to with Ice and Stars. I mean, it's, it's everything, everything that's happened to this point, it's really just getting started. So.